all see Kailua Kona as such a beautiful place, but you don't see the stuff that's hidden. So I find these kids in the baseball dugouts. I find these kids any place that they could find shelter. Because all they want to do is to be warm and to be safe. Stuff happens, you know, and you can't beat yourself up over it too much. I was a sergeant in the United States Marine Corps from 79 to 86, two honorable discharges. I love my country. I can't find a job. We have to come together as a community to address homelessness. And we've done that on the Big Island and we are envisioning to do that also throughout the state. Our bishop has said this, we should be able to make some impact and we're determined to do that. As we look at affordable housing, we're going to be looking at all kinds of opportunities to um, increase the inventory of housing for the poor. I'm a carpenter and I heard about Habitat for Humanity was in church, so I was like, yeah, you know, I could help out. So I just came and everything's been pretty cherry. The church stepped up and said, yeah, we're, we're going to commit to building a house for Habitat, and it's, it's wonderful. And not only one house, they're looking at homes in the future. It's the first time for our affiliate that we've had an organization or a corporation sponsor a house. We're going to provide, God willing, 20 units of um, low-cost, affordable housing for Kupuna and Puna. Yes, this is an exciting initiative. It's a green housing. It's we're reusing materials. We're um, not contributing to the landfill. We're here at the university working with the School of Architecture and again, building partnerships with students, um, our faith community, the Catholic Church, to maximize all the resources to bring housing um, available to our low-income uh, seniors. This project actually opened up um, the avenue to give back uh, service learning, use my expertise uh, within uh, UH and what I've learned at the School of Architecture and then reapply that back to the community. I'm glad that this class ended up being a real project that I could be a part of. There is a program called Volunteers in Steering Pride or VIP. We've got a, a tremendous response from the faith-based community. They are assisting us with the painting and cleaning of the units and then what that will allow us to do is to put the units online and uh, you know open it up to families who are on our wait list. This is where it really happens. This is the gospel coming alive. This is the gospel being true. We're here today because we want to help out with the Bishop's Call to be a witness to Jesus and to help with affordable housing and having units out there for more people who need um, housing. We're blessed and to be able to give back and to realize that there are people who don't have remotely what we have, I think it's a good lesson for young adults. Give to the people less fortunate than myself, it's a big deal to me because again, I would want that if I was in that situation for people to reach out and stuff. You have a talent, guaranteed, even if it's just giving of your time and being that compassionate individual that, you know, that we know you are. It's an answer to the call call of, of the Lord, call of the church. Whatever we give, it always comes back. If your heart is looking for something to do, this is a great place to put it. If you have someone you love dearly and you can't reach out to them, here's a way of doing it.